Water. Earth. Fire. Air. Kush King 17 here, man. We back with another video. Before we get into this video, feel free to drop that like, drop that comment, man. And don't forget to spark and subscribe. And it's National Hash Hole Day. National Donut Day, man. 1130, 710 plus 420 gets you 1130. This video was kind of going to be a different type of video. I was going to make like a 7K subscriber special, but I'm going to just end up turning this into the Hash Hole Day video or Donut Day video. So this is just a compilation of a bunch of hash holes I got. Mostly from this THCA brand called uh, Crisp THCA. If y'all haven't heard of them, check them out. Not sponsored by them or anything. And I did some rosin rolls in Seattle. It's just, yeah, it's just a compilation of a few donuts that I tried. But I suggest if you do this video, I suggest you have a hash hole or a donut or some rolled up. Even if you don't have those, man, I hope you just enjoy this video. Get high with me. If you can't get high with me, once again, I just hope you enjoy it. With all that being said, this is a donut a day video, man. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get to it. It's Tuesday, you feel me? We got we got us a hot box for this hash hole, bro. This is what we rocking with. We rocking us with some. I don't know that. I never heard of that strain. And we got a 0.3 gram of rosin of that giraffe pussy. Hey, let me know if y'all had giraffe pussy. Insane name. A hash hole a day. Here we got it. You know what I'm saying? With a glass tip. Let's go ahead and smoke this first hot box hash hole of the week. It's Tuesday. This shit smells so fucking loud, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. This smells hella loud. The 1.5 with 0.3 gram of rosin ratio. I don't know, man. How y'all feel about that ratio? Hash holes are such the sophisticated way of smoking now, bro. It's like crazy, bro. It's expensive too, bro. I'm not gonna lie. It's an expensive habit. This one is by Crisp Co. THCA, this hash hole, man. I, got a, I think I got a lot of these, bro. Honestly, I, got, I gotta look again. But man, the flower is actually pretty good. Here's how it's burning, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm actually a little bit impressed on how it's burning this shit. Okay, okay. Has a nice resin ring. I think I'm actually starting to taste the rosin a little bit. This is actually my first ever hot box of a hash hole. Like I've never hot boxed a hash hole. So I hope this video is lit for you guys. It's just crazy how tasty this one tastes. This one tastes like has like a sweet undertone with the rosin. And then the flower has like a Like a high, slight hint of earthy, like earthy sweet. Like the rosin giving it the sweetness and then the flowers giving it that kind of earthiness. With. But man, it's such an enjoyable smoke experience, bro. Like I'm just really fucking with it. Especially like in the hot box. Three, only a 0.3 gram of rosin. I feel like a 1.5 gram of flour. I feel like maybe if you put like a 0.5 gram of rosin up in there, probably would be a little bit better. Once again, here's how it's looking super duper white ash nice nice joint sweat on there very very flavorful experience this was like what this is forty dollars so 1.5 gram 0.3 gram of rosin forty dollars that's actually not as expensive as i've seen some hash holes though with the expensive ones they be like two grams and it's like eighty dollars or sixty dollars depending on your area it's crazy how like the pre-roll game used to be people don't mess with pre-rolls but nowadays it's like hash holes done took over the pre-roll game if you are gonna pre-roll it put some rosin up in in there man you know what i'm saying and not only that give me some fire flour as well let the flour be fire too like don't just be putting bullshit up in there i like how hash holes are like the premium pre-roll because you know people still buy pre-rolls like that ain't that is that i think that's a thing that's never gonna be a that's never not gonna be a thing like everybody going people still gonna be buying pre-rolls bro and hash holes i feel like i've definitely just up the up the standard for them here you can see a little bit of hole right there you know what i'm saying i'm getting high as fuck like I'm getting high for real. And like we not even done, bro. We only halfway through. And uh just 1.5 grams, bro. I'm high as hell. I'm definitely like reusing the fuck out these glass tips. I ain't gonna lie. I'ma just douse that in some ISO. Yeah, we're gonna be reusing them guys for sure. Oh yeah, hash hole hot boxes is different. I ain't gonna lie, bro. They hit different. I might like it even better than inside. Oh yeah, okay. So now we made it to where the hash hole is gone. Now it's just flour. So I feel like the rosin actually was really good. I honestly wish it was more rosin in there. I think it was like that 0.3, like yeah. Like make it a 0.5, but make it a 0.5. But that was actually really good. The flower is really good too. Flower really hits the chest. One of those like punchers. We getting smoked out of this shit for real. Like we all we almost there, man. We almost beating it down. I'm like shit, man. Like for real. It's kind of making me a little hungry. Crisp, they kind of surprised me. I ain't gonna lie, this shit surprised me. At least this one I got, bro. This shit is fire. 
Like, no bullshit. No bullshit. That was $40 for that one. And I'm not going to lie. I'm this close to saying it was worth it. I'm really this close. Because, I mean, for $40, I should be this fucking high. You feel me? But, like, I will only smoke this on, like, special occasions. It's my birthday or, like, you know, it's, like graduating something i just accomplished some some big event in my life some people do that like when they they smoke backwards like for people who don't smoke like tobacco a lot like on special occasions they'll smoke a wood or some shit i'm good on that right now but i don't know maybe one day i'm gonna go back and smoke a wood but right now bro for special occasions hash holes is like the way yeah we boxed out of this bitch man it's pre pro pre roll is definitely like nine out of ten bro i only give it a nine because or maybe 8.5 because it was a little harsh i will say it was smooth but it had just like a little bit of harshness and that was just towards the end honestly but other than that bro it was great honestly it was a great pre-roll let's see what we rocking with man here's the donut of the day you guys we got some sour we got some rainbow belts man y'all i've had rainbow belts but i never had sour once again by chris thea you know yesterday we had them so we're gonna give them another try today the donut of the day for donut number three let's get a quick turk turk test just off that, them little air pools taste very weedy. Actually does taste sour. Like it actually has a sour taste to it. Yeah, man, let's go ahead and start up this hash hole. We got hot donut number three. I just got off work, bro. Today, it's been a long day. It actually has, I actually had a pretty decent, decent day at work, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. So I gotta appreciate days like that because the days that you hate at work, bro, are the worst. Haven't smoked flour all day. All I've been on is just dabs today. We'll say this one is a little bit harder to start a little bit than that last one I had in the car. Because they say like one of the most important parts of the hash hole is how you start it, bro, so. Hey, this one is actually rolled too fucking tight, bro. Come on, man. Bro, let's fix this. And we're just gonna lift this up like so just slightly pulling it up a little bit boom you see that little pocket so let's drizzle that down just to get some more airflow because i'm not wasting this 40 dollar hash on this is actually like blowing my fucking mind it's actually pissing me off man what the fuck it's a little bit better okay man not gonna lie that is some unacceptable shit and i'm gonna keep it real with y'all that was crisp come on man that's that's something. I just got off work, worked my hard ass off, and I, I don't need that. I needed to burn how I burned yesterday, so I'm definitely keeping that in mind. It's a donut of the day, though, so it's all good. We still gonna enjoy this shit. We gonna make the best of it. But it happens sometimes, so I'm not really tripping too bad, you know. Hey, man, when you come in this weed industry, you can't expect everything you get to be top tier, the perfect, everything. It just happens, bro. It just happens. So I'm not too upset. I'm not bashing this company because that, that hash I had yesterday was amazing. It was fire. If I get more and it's rolled tight like that, we're gonna have some issues. So fix that shit crisp. Cause now I'm getting to the rising of the rainbow bells, man. You see what I'm saying? Now I'm starting to taste the rainbow bells rising. The burn, resin ring, everything is good, bro. It shows a lot of good signs, you know what I mean? Uh, I will say as far as the flower goes, it's okay. I definitely feel like the one from yesterday was just better. Roll too tight, man. Such a fucking bummer. And we just now noticed, like, this is even a different tip. Like, yesterday's had a glass tip. Today is black. As I'm getting to the part where I loose, I basically loosened it up, or it may provide more airflow. Now it's starting to smoke a lot better. Starting to taste the rainbow belts. Honestly, the zour, the flower itself of zour, isn't all that, honestly. Like, it's not. Like I said, yesterday, the, the giraffe pussy and Alcatraz, that combo, for some reason, was very tasty, bro. I don't know what. Like, those, that was a good combo. But this... This one kind of just tastes like they got some weed and just put some rosin in there, honestly. Like, that's legit what it, this one, this one is like taste giving me the vibe, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a little disappointed, that's all. But it's all good, man. Let's just smoke this out and enjoy our night. Hope y'all enjoying this, a donut a day. I hope you got a donut. Hope you got some, some flour. Hope whatever you got your hands on, man, I hope you indulging with me. If you're not indulging with me, man, I hope this is just fun to watch, bro. It's just cool for you to hit, sit here and chill with me, man. I'm just glad you're here. How y'all been, man? How have you guys been? Are you guys doing okay? For those of you work, at work man or if you at work or you going to work man how's y'all how's work been for you guys the one one five <coughs> ratio pretty decent tomorrow we're gonna switch up the ratio you feel me tomorrow we gotta we gotta do a different ratio tomorrow man we gotta spice it up maybe some little special we got some cali some cali donuts tomorrow you feel me gotta be honest is, is the higher i'm getting the less i'm mad about the joint because i'm getting high 
but still. Chris, get your shit together, man. Come on. I'm telling you, bro, you get the wrong customer. Imagine you got a customer, bro, paying all his bills. He a hard worker, full time. Now, all he wanted was a nice hash hole. Bro, orders it online, waiting for it. You know, it's different. You waiting for that shit too, man. Get it in the mail. You plan it today, what you gonna do, when you gonna do when you get it. And then you get it. And that bitch don't smoke because it's rolled too tight. Ah, I'd be pissed, man. You know what I'm saying? As long as you know how to fix that shit, man, it's all good. It's okay. I'm pretty satisfied, to be honest. I still got high as fuck. It didn't smoke that harsh, like I said. None of the flour, actually, it all smoked really well. I just feel like it was kind of lacking with the flavor on this this combo, this hour. It didn't really taste like much. Or the rosin, really. It just tasted like rosin. If you know what I mean. If you know, if you guys know that, that that rising kind of taste, I don't know. We giving this one like a six, like a five. Six is being generous. I think I'm leading towards six because bro, it's getting me high. You know what I mean? Not harsh, so just doesn't really taste that good and it was real too fucking tight, so. All right, man, we don't beat this bitch down. That's hash hole, that's donut number three. Hope y'all enjoyed this donut. Uh, cue the next donut. It's good with y'all, man. Another day. Another donut, man. It's a new day, new donut. This donut day, man, we got us some Cali Blaze, man. Got this, picked this up at PuffCon. Yeah, we got us some premium hash rosin right there, as you can see. You know what I'm saying? Giving you all the statistics. Two grams of Cherry Z, along with a half a gram of some Trop Cherries. So I'm, I'm super excited about this. Uh, I've been saving it ever since I went to PuffCon. So let's pop this one open. This one is loud as hell. Okay, okay. This is what I'm talking about now. This is what it looks has the Cali Blaze right there on the glass tip. But this is two grams and a 0.5 gram of rosin. Super excited about this, man. Start the little mini campfire going. But yeah, we're gonna enjoy ourselves, man. Hope y'all enjoying this, man. We we getting lit this every we getting lit this video, man. This was thirty dollars, man. They had a thirty dollars at the booth, and then they had a three gram one, which was sixty, and I think that came with like a gram of rosin. And it was like three grams. Starting it is the best part, is the one of the most important parts. You gotta roast it a little bit, you know what I mean? You don't wanna just start pulling. Cherry Z, so I'm, I'm assuming it's a fucking Skittles cross. Everybody is crossing shit with Skittles. There we go. Okay, now we got it going off rip. Not roll too tight, shout out Cali Blaze. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my people who don't roll their hash holes too tight. So far, I, I haven't reached the rosin yet, but the flower seems pretty decent. I'm starting to taste it a little bit, just a slight hint of that rosin, but I have I don't think I hit it yet. I think Cali Blaze, I'm not sure if you guys have tried this brand. I think they're actually here in Colorado as well, so I'm not sure if you guys have tried Cali Blaze. I haven't done much information on them, honestly. I need to do some more research, more homework. Have you guys tried them? If so, share your thoughts about this brand. This is my first initial impression. I will say it is, it is like, like I'm, I'm tasting it. Like I'm tasting the flower. Here's a bit of what it looks like just in the beginning. Nice resin ring, white ash. This is pretty, it is pretty good, man. I like the, like the glass tip. I'm liking it so far, so far so good. I could just appreciate that nice resin. You see that resin shining right there? I gotta, pre I gotta appreciate shit like that. That shit is shining. I love when that shit starts sweating. Now I think I'm starting to hit the rosin. Starting to hit that guy now, finally. So this rosin, I do taste it. It has like a like a buttery, earthy kind of taste, bro. That's the best way I can kind of describe. We don't hit the hash hole. You feel me? For the most part, man, this shit got me feeling like just real mellow, just relaxed, just chill. And part of that could be due to my state of mind at the moment. Like I'm just real relaxed, just chill, kind of just want to relax, man. So this is how it got me feeling, man. If you smoking with me, man, how, 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 that, how that shit got you feeling, man? Let me know, let me know. Getting right here, now I'm feeling like I'm fucking faded for real, you know what I mean? I thought I was chill, but it's like in a chill where like you staring, but you thinking about a thousand shit at once, you know what I mean? Like I'm sitting here just having a blank stare, but I'm thinking about hella shit at once. I'm high as hell, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, shit got me lit, bro. This be about favorite part of the hash holes. That's the thing about it, bro. Like, you guaranteed to get high off hash holes. But I get really fucking high off them bitches, bro. I tasted a lot of the rising up in there, honestly, for a good minute. This was a solid hash hole right here. Cali Blaze, you guys are making pretty. And this was affordable, too. Like, it was 
30 bucks like what maybe that was just their puffing on prices if not even if you just want to just talk about like the hash hole in general of this it was solid bro this shit was solid as hell and if you smoking a hash hole let me know your hash hole you smoking man let me know let me know the rising the flower ratio you know i suggest if you watching this bro smoke a hash hole if you watching this go get you some hash holes and smoke to this if you don't got any right now i want you to Rewatch the video the next time you get some assholes, you feel me? Feel me? Do your own thing, man. I challenge the viewer here. If you're able to access a asshole, man, try to watch this and smoke a asshole. I need my Kush Kingdom to smoke these donuts with me. What you doing after smoking this? I'm probably gonna eat some food. Like, when I tell y'all I'm, like, high, like, I think I'm, like, a 9 out of 10, you feel me? I feel like, of course, I could feel like I could keep going, but, but yeah, we beating this bitch down for sure. Shit, you know I'm re reusing the fuck out of that filter. Man, it's another donut, man. Another donut day, a donut a day. So you know what's next. The donut today was really good, you feel me? The donut kind of tastier on the earthier side. Kind of like a sour earthy. I don't know, I really, no, no, I mean, kind of, it was like a buttery earthy. You know what I mean? That rosin, the, the, the cherry troppers. I could taste the sweetness in it, but it was like more earthy overpowering, if anything. That was another donut. Next donut. And we got us some rosin rolls right here. Look at this, man. We got some rosin rolls. We trying, I'm seeing what the pre-roll game is, the hash hole game is. Uh, this is infused with Pave. That strain, real popular strain. And Nerds, two packs. So it's 1.5 in total. It's like a 0.75. Like, so I don't know really how they're um, doing this, but like here it is. We're probably gonna like two of these. So I guess it's not technically considered a hash hole since it's not hash rosin, but hey, it's a rosin roll. So yeah, let's get some of this rosin in. See how it tastes. Finna get some food right before this. Like you can automatically taste the rosin. $11 for 1.5. Not bad, not bad. This is rolled on the tighter side, but not unsmokable if that makes sense it's actually getting better the more i get to the middle of it but man real chill real chill like the rosin wasn't even that much not tripping though honestly it's still burning pretty good it has a nice resin ring and shit look at that shit sweating shit sweating right there it's a good little buzz like this is more like a good cigarette smoke bro like this is the equivalent pave isn't that bad at all never had it but the nerds rosin was pretty pretty straight, pretty fine, pretty regular, honestly. Probably just put some regular rosin. Some not no super high grade rosin. But yeah, not matter at this. Good birthday rosin roll. And man, it's just crazy like in different markets, bro. The the uh the packaging game in different markets, like sometimes you can't even do certain packaging. Like in Illinois, you can't really package that good. In Michigan, they have crazy packaging. Cali has crazy packaging. Colorado is decent, like it's in the middle. Like Colorado, you could package kinda good, but nothing compared to what the Cali markets and even the Washington markets that I've seen. But like, I really like this for like a really good quick smoke though. Like honestly, this flower is actually really nice. It was better better than that other pre-roll I had earlier uh, for that birthday vid. This is by Dank Czar, man. So these are pretty solid, man. 11 bucks, bro. You cannot beat that, bro. I'm not mad, bro. Definitely finna smoke the next one though, for sure. Beat the first one down. So let's go ahead and try this second one. All right, man, let's start our campfire number two. There we go. Now I'm tasting that nerds rising. This one, I'm tasting the rising a lot more. Rising rolls, they smack, man. They're pretty, pretty fire, man. You just want some quick rising pre rolls. Rise and roll is cool, man. 11.30, how y'all doing this November 30th? We got us some Gorilla Glue, man. Look at this. Some Gorilla Glue and Zop hash hole donut. That's our donut of the day. Once again, by Crisp T-A-C-A, man. I gave, I'm giving them another chance because that Gorilla Glue and Zop sounded really, really promising. I'm not gonna lie, the flower smells crazy already, like, has that real glue smell, glue taste to it already, just pulling it off the turps. It's open glue. I'm already feeling good about it. The smell, the nose, nose. Donuts are just hella expensive, bro. For real. Imagine getting an ounce of pre-rolls, but of uh, hash holes, bro. Price tag probably crazy. All right, man. Right off rip, right off them first few pulls, bro. I'm fucking with that flavor already.
you know you take a first few pulls of some good weed bro and you are you like ooh, what is that Ooh, that's hurt this is this is really tasty bro i'm telling you i just started it and like i'm already like really liking it the zope and the glue you see how it's burning man nice resin ring donuts donuts are shit like i fuck with donuts man i'm glad they're becoming like a thing now super popular even like the branding of it and all like oh they're very marketable another like marketable aspect into the weed we seen like they really changed up the pre-roll game for real especially now that they starting to put really good flour with it as well like i remember i was at puffcon like bro i wanted to get those fidel's like hash hole pre-rolls where they had like the ashtray with it but i was like bro it was like 140 or 150 for three pre-rolls bro what and they were only like the one and a half grams i was ah I was just like, ah, man, it probably was worth it, man. I don't know. It came with an ashtray, so. Yeah, I'm starting to taste that zop up in there now. But yeah, let me know some of you guys' favorite hash holes or donuts or companies, rise and rolls, any infused companies. Let me know. Drop them down below brands that you guys like. I want to know. I want to hear it, man, because, like I said, I just like learning about different brands and what products they have to offer. Gorilla Glue is such a classic strain, too, bro. They say it's easy as fuck to grow. There the hole, man. Y'all see it. You feel me? I had to show y'all. For the one time. This is like probably the most enjoyable one I've had so far, honestly. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's giving a really good smoking experience. And honestly, I, I was just rocking with Chris. Right? It was just cheaper, bro. I was just not trying to spend 60 to $80 on some of these fucking hash holes, bro. It just wasn't worth it. But when I did get them, I got some, you feel me? It's a $40 smoke, though, so it better fucking be great, enjoyable, all that. I better be high as hell. Like, it's burning good. Thick smoke, white ash, all that. And we did not get any real donuts which is such a disappointment guys i'm sorry nonetheless i hope you guys enjoyed this video man smoking some donuts trying some shit we had some shit from seattle we had some stuff from puff cons of course some thea hash holes hope you guys having a wonderful 11 30. it's almost the end of the year man so we got to finish out this year strong man i hope you guys stay hot stay safe and i hope y'all don't forget to spark and subscribe i take a shot of hennessy now i'm strong enough to face the madness nickel bag full of sets we lace with ass from my niggas on the other side Two childhood friends just died I couldn't cry a damn shame